Hi everyone. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the six different elements that make up an IFR approach chart. Let's get started. The first element that makes up an IFR approach chart is the marginal data. The marginal data can be found both at the top and at the bottom of the chart. Marginal data includes the approach name and airport name, the FAA computer identifier for the approach, the city and state of the approach, the current amendment date and number for the approach, the lat long grid coordinates for the airport, and again in the bottom right section, the name of the approach and the airport. The second major portion of the approach chart is the pilot briefing section. The pilot briefing section is located at the top of the chart and includes some very important information to review prior to flying the approach. The top section of the pilot briefing includes the approach frequency, approach course, and runway length and airport and touchdown zone elevations. The second section of the pilot brief area includes information on takeoff minimums, alternate requirements, notes to the pilot when flying the approach, the approach lighting system, and missed approach information in a textual format. The final portion of the pilot brief section includes your frequencies that you'll be using. The frequencies are laid out in a nice, easy-to-follow order in the order of use. First, you have your ATIS, your approach control or center frequency if there's no approach control, tower or CTAF, ground control if it's at the airport, and clearance delivery, again, if it exists at the airport of landing. The next section is the plan view section of the approach chart. The plan view section includes an over top down look at the approach. Here we can see the approach course, any information on procedure turns that we may need to fly, location of any relevant navigational aids, the missed approach course, minimum safe altitudes, and some obstacle data. The plan view gives you a general view of where you should be along the approach course. The next section we'll look at is the profile view section. The profile view section gives you a sideways look at the approach that you're flying. Gives you altitude information, descent information. It also gives you some fixed information so you know where you should be altitude wise in relation to a fix. Gives you step down altitudes, missed approach points, and missed approach icons, which give you a quick reference of how to fly the missed approach without referring all the way back up to the textual description. In addition, on the profile view, you'll find the distance you must remain within while flying your procedure turn or hold in lieu of procedure turn, and the glide slope angle of the approach. In this case, it's three degrees. Next, we'll look at the minima section. The minima section is located at the bottom of the chart and is broken down into aircraft category and type of approach. Straight in, circling, and in this case, there are alternate minimums depending on whether or not you can fix 
the APA intersection. So those are listed in a separate section. The last section of an approach chart is the airport diagram. The airport diagram gives important information like airport elevation, touchdown zone elevation, types of runway lighting, a miniature diagram of the airport, and also a section to indicate time for timed approaches. It's also broken down by speed. So at 90 knots, this approach should take you 3 minutes and 20 seconds from the final approach fix to the missed approach point. And there you have the six major sections of the approach chart. Just remember your marginal data, your pilot brief, your plan view, profile view, minima, and airport diagram. We'll discuss all these later in other lessons. So that's it for an overview of the IFR approach chart. Please join us for our next class on the pilot brief section of an approach chart. Thanks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.